Hello students today we are going to do a poem written by R L Stevenson from a railway carriage so come along then let's read and enjoy it this video was made just for you do remember to like share and subscribe everyone loves to travel and train journeys have a charm and fun of their own in this poem from a railway carriage the poet r l stevenson describes the sights and scenes that he experiences as he is traveling through a railway carriage first i shall read to you the poem and then give you the meanings of certain terms and phrases in words and also explain to you the meaning of the entire poem so let's begin faster than ferries faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows the horses and cattle all of the sights of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by here is a child who clamors and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles here is a tramp who stands and gazes and there is a green of stringing the daisies here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with man and load and here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone forever while i was reading children what did the rhythm of the poem remind you of yes it reminded us of the sound of the train as it travels isn't it while i was reading the poem you could understand that it was the train moving like chuck 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 isn't it that's how the rhythm of the poem went so i hope you'll enjoyed it now let us understand the meanings of the some of the words and phrases and then i'll explain to you the entire poem railway carriage means a coach in a train it is a small room we all have traveled by train isn't it so each compartment or each coach is called a railway carriage ferries a small imaginary being of human form that has magical powers which a woman thought to have magical powers especially evil ones so a witch is a bad fairy hedge it is a fence made of a shrub or a bush ditch a long low place where water can run off from a road or a field troops in a battle troops means groups of soldiers so battle is the war that they fight so troops in a battle over here means soldiers fighting in a battle or a war meadows is a grassy field where you might find cattle grazing so what is cattle cattle means cows bulls buffaloes etc clamor clamor means to climb up or down clumsily not easily scramble means to climb quickly especially with both hands and feet brambles are any bush or vine with sharp thorns and sometimes they may have some berries attached to it growing on it tramp is an old fashioned word for a poor person so a poor person who uh, travels from one place to the other is called a tramp stringing the daisies may, means making a chain out of daisies daisies are flowers cart a cart is a vehicle pulled by hand mill mill is a building where a stream turns a wheel which powers a big heavy machine for grinding the grain so it is grain is put and we can have flour made out of it now students i shall read each stanza and then explain the meaning of the stanza faster than ferries faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows the horses and cattle 
The poet begins by describing the speed of the train. He says that the train is faster than fairies and witches. He compares the movement of the train to the soldiers charging in a battlefield. As the train moves ahead, it leaves behind bridges and houses and hedges and ditches and moves on. All of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain. And ever again, in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. Next, the poet can see the beautiful sights of hills and the plains. But they move so fast, just like the rain moving during a storm. With a wink of an eye, the train passes the freshly painted stations where the guard is whistling to signal it to move on without fear. Here is a child who clamors and scrambles all by himself and gathering bambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes and there is a green for stringing the daisies. The poet continues describing all that he can see through his train carriage. He says that he can see a child who is all by himself clambering and scrambling to gather brambles. The poet also sees a tramp just standing and gazing at the things around him. He sees some creepers that he can be used to string the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. In the final stanza, the poet tells us that he can see a loaded cart that is pulled by a man, a mill and a river. All these sights and scenes are just a glimpse and they are out of sight forever. Wasn't this a lovely poem, children? I'm sure you all must have enjoyed it. For the entire summary, the meanings and question answers based on this poem, you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com. You'll get the link in the description box below. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure you may also enjoy the following videos. You'll get the link in the description box below.